In this video, we're going to try and integrate. We are going to try and integrate this from zero to one. So, uh, so one over x will look something like this. Will look something like this. So sine, so sine once, so sine over x, sine x over x will look something like this. Will look something like this. Dead on zero is undefined, and then it will look something like this. So we are trying to integrate this, but we don't know how to integrate this. So we have to turn this into a series and then integrate each individual term of the series. Um, but the main question is, um, we, well, we are trying to work out the area from 0 to 1. The, ma the main question is, how many terms do we need in order to get the, the, the area to be within this level of accuracy? Okay, so, uh, and, and also you might feel uncomfortable um, in that we are integrating from 0 to 1, but yet when you put 0 into the denominator, it breaks down. You might feel uncomfortable, but we have we have done something like this in the past. So remember, in the past we've done this one over root x. Dead on zero, dead on zero, it breaks down. Dead on zero, dead on zero, it, it breaks down. It it breaks down. But yet we can still work out the area because we would integrate it from one to b. We would integrate it from sorry. We would integrate it from b to one, from b to one, from b to one, and then. And then, and then, and then, uh, allow B to head, allow B, sorry, allow B to head towards zero. So we've done something like this before. This should, you should know this by heart. Um, take, uh, blah, 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 and, and it, it gave us an answer of two. So even though dead on zero, even though dead on zero, it breaks down, you can steal the whole thing here. The area is actually two. You can have a legitimate answer of two. So going back to here, even though, even though dead on zero, even though dead on zero, it breaks down. You can still have a legitimate answer. Okay, so so let's let's just um, let's let's try and integrate it now. So um, we we are trying to uh, we are trying to integrate this, but we we don't know how to integrate this. So we've got to turn it into a series. So uh, so let's let's just concentrate on this bit. Let's just concentrate on this bit. So visualize this as being one over x and then sine. X and then uh, and then this block here we're going to turn it into this okay so so uh, uh, so let me think so th this block here is this whole thing here so you've got one over x times this whole thing here and then uh, and then and then if you look at this here if you look at this here you can imagine this as being x two n times x um, so so uh, and then you've got you've got this so you've got plus blah blah minus blah blah and then uh, and then one over x here. This will cancel out with this, and then this will cancel out with the next x over here. The point here is that uh, this will cancel out with this. So from here, that will then take you to here. Okay. So so the uh, this this the series is the series itself is this. Now we need to integrate it. Remember, if, if you're trying to integrate something like this. Uh, if you try and integrate it, it will give you x to the power of three and then a third. So the the so 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 we are now trying to integrate this. If you integrate this, it will give you this thing here. So hang on. So uh, so if you integrate this two n, if you integrate it, it would be one notch higher. So it would be two n plus one. But then you've got to divide it by this thing here. So you've got to divide it by two n plus one. Well, integrate this. That will then give you this. From uh, from zero to one. Okay, so now now um, now now you've got to so so here you've got a, a sum. You, here you've got a whole a whole series in here. So now now you've got to put this into here, put this into here, put this into here, put this into here, and then take away take away, put this into here, put this into here, put this into here, and so on. Well. If if you put zero into here, because it contains x here, if, if you put zero into here, then uh, then whole, this whole thing will be zero. The whole thing will be zero. So so when you put this into here, it will be zero. Put zero into here, it will be zero. Put zero into here, it will be zero. And when when you put one into here, put one into here, put one into here. When you put one into here, it will be one, and then to the power of whatever, it's going to be one. So when when you put one into here, this hang on, when you put one into here, this thing here, this whole block here will be one, will be one. Um, 
when you uh, when you when you put one into here, so that means when you put one into here, for for this one here, this block here will, will be one. So so the, the if if you put one into here, one into here, this block here will always be one. So that will then take us to uh, to here. Okay, so I will continue in the next video. We are currently here.